Orion, Seaware's 2019 aircraft is a newly designed system with Seaware's most innovative design made to date, customized to quickly and accurately achieve all AUVSI competition objectives. Introducing Seaware's Flightline. Sitar Harrell, Class of 2019, Co-Team Lead and Team Captain. Samuel Feibel, Class of 2020, Mechanical Team Member and Safety Pilot. Benjamin Sternclark Davis, Class of 2019, Co-Team Lead and Spotter. Jamie Gray, Class of 2021, Airframe Lead and Airframe Coordinator. Mark Worsley, Class of 2021, Mechanical Team Member and UGV Coordinator. Eric Landgreep, Class of 2020, Autopilot Lead and Autopilot GCS Operator. Quinn Halpin, Class of 2019, Vision Team Lead and Autonomous Vision System Operator. Maria Sam, Class of 2020, Platform Lead and Mission Objective Coordinator. Katie Bradford, Class of 2020, Electrical Team Member and Airdrop, Gimbal and Communications Coordinator. Evan Patrick, Class of 2021, Platform Team Member and MDLC Coordinator. Orion's airframe considers both stability and maneuverability for high-quality image capture and waypoint accuracy, as well as increased durability and flight time. In total, Orion spans a 3-meter length and 3-meter wingspan. The airframe skin consists of a composite sandwich material made up of carbon fiber, vinyl foam, and fiberglass. The geometry of the skin was created using a series of 14 female molds, enabling complex lofted geometries in the vertical tail for high maneuverability and a polyhedral in the main wing section to aid stability. Control surfaces in total on Orion have doubled in number from last year, leading to controllable and durable flight. Orion utilizes front and back landing gear to enable rolling takeoff and landing. This allows the team to have faster testing times and provide safer landings for the aircraft body. Orion's airdrop system was completely redesigned for the new unmanned ground vehicle task. The UGV's design consists of two wheels constructed using thermoplastic polyurethane and nylon, allowing the wheels to be strong but deformable upon impact. After a linear actuator opens the aircraft's airdrop doors, a second linear actuator drops the UGV above its target landing location. The UGV then utilizes a parafoil to safely guide its descent to the ground and then drives to the designated target location. Orion's electrical system is an iterative development of last year's electrical platform. One 6-cell battery and one 2-cell battery provide power via a central, custom power board, which then subsequently distributes it to various electrical subsystems. Seaware's custom carrier board holds the power board, the Jetson TX2 onboard computer, the Pixhawk Cube autopilot, and other electrical systems. On the front end of the fuselage, a hardware gimbal and zoom system stabilize and control our new camera, the Sony R10C. To accomplish the autonomous flight and waypoint objectives, we've created a custom version of the Arduplane fixed-wing autopilot running on the Pixhawk 2.1 Cube flight controller. In addition to an internal IMU and compass, the Pixhawk Cube is connected to a number of peripheral sensors, including an airspeed sensor and a HEAR GPS. The autopilot is connected to our ground station with redundant links to ensure no lapse in communications over both our 5 GHz Wi-Fi link and the 900 MHz RFD 900+. For controlling the aircraft, 
we've built a web-based ground station on top of the popular MOV proxy ground station, containing a full-featured web server for integrations with other systems. This year, we have made drastic improvements to our autonomous obstacle avoidance system. Our 2019 system transitions to a focus on avoiding dense, static obstacles. In particular, our obstacle avoidance system now uses a high-performing potential flow algorithm that prioritizes proximity to waypoints and distance from obstacles. To operate our camera, gimbal, and air delivery electronics, as well as to detect, classify, and locate objects and images, Seaware has implemented a system of servers on the ground and in the plane that communicate over HTTP to a Raspberry Pi 3, which runs the software to operate the camera. On the plane, a NVIDIA Jetson TX2 runs servers to control the orientation of our gimbal, autonomously compute when to drop the UGV, and to operate the camera. The servers on the plane send images down to the ground server where multiple web clients can download the images. A UI allows team members to manually identify objects in photos, record characteristics, merge multiple sightings of the same objects, and submit intel to the interop server. Additionally, images are passed through our ADCL system and classified using our proprietary classifiers. Seaware plans to attempt all mission tasks. The Orion system has flown in 10 full mission test flights and has reliably and accurately completed the autonomous flight, obstacle avoidance, object detection, classification, and localization, and airdrop tasks. Developmental testing is a vital part of CUR's design process to ensure all components work according to the specifications. Before integration, all hardware systems are load tested to ensure sufficient strength, and all software is unit tested and code reviewed. All subsystems are rigorously tested on the ground with a flight simulator, tested in our lightweight BIX-3 airframe, and tested in numerous test flights on the Orion airframe. Orion's autopilot firmware requires an involved tuning process to fly with optimal maneuverability and safety. The team conducted extensive testing both on the team's lightweight BIX-3 test aircraft and on the Orion system. The team tuned the PID stabilization algorithm through rapid in-flight movements, as well as added new configurations to account for the aircraft's new rolling takeoff and landing capabilities. This included in-depth tuning for ground steering. In total, the team spent approximately 100 minutes in tuning time, during which 65% was in a manual flight mode, and 100 minutes of additional flight time, during which 10% was in a manual mode. For navigating waypoints, the team tested the algorithm in an autopilot, software-in-the-loop simulator, then flight tested in the BIX-3 for validation. Orion has flown 13 flights using the new navigation system, attempting over 1,200 waypoints. Orion had an average miss rate of 15 feet, hitting over 1,000 waypoints within the 100-foot threshold. For Orion's obstacle avoidance system, CUAIR has switched to a high-performing potential flow algorithm. The system was tested alongside the flight navigation system to ensure safety and tested against a number of stationary obstacles with both competition-style waypoint paths and search area surveillance-style patterns. This obstacle avoidance system has been used for six flight hours in 17 different flights. The obstacle avoidance system was tested with both a flight simulator and on the BIX-3 before integration into Orion. On Orion, the team tested the obstacle avoidance system on a total of 98 static obstacles, with 94 avoided. All captured images have a resolution of 20.1 megapixels, and images are sampled at a rate of one image every 2.5 seconds to ensure complete imaging of the search grid. The flight plan includes two passes of the search grid. The first pass captures 422,000 square foot images at minimum camera zoom for the purpose of identifying regions of interest. In the second pass, the camera points directly at the identified regions of interest while at maximum zoom to obtain images containing 70,000 square pixel objects. Seaware's autonomous vision system performs robustly, often performing as well as human taggers. Tests were conducted on approximately 6,000 images taken from test flights and previous competitions. These images contain approximately 3,000 real target sightings, which were manually tagged and used for testing purposes. All object shapes, alphanumerics, and colors are represented. Using data collected from several competitions and local test flights, the detection system has a precision of 79% and a recall of 1.5%. The alphanumeric classifier is 74% accurate. The shape classifier is 65% accurate. The alphanumeric color classifier is 31% accurate. The color classifier is 51% accurate. The orientation classifier is 44% accurate. 
The team has tested our localization system on 3,270 hand-tagged objects from over 30 test flights. A phone GPS was used to determine the object's true location. The localization algorithm was tested on different images of the same objects and on objects at both the edges and center of the image. The algorithm for calculating the object's orientation was tested for all eight cardinal and intercardinal orientations. Latitude and longitude values from our localization algorithm have a mean error of 12 feet and a standard deviation of 21 feet from the target's true location. The team employed a combination of ground and flight testing to ensure reliability of the airdrop system. The team utilized a DJI Matrice 100 to test the UGV, completing 35 drop tests from a height of up to 400 feet. In these drop tests, we tested the UGV's drop time, parafoil release, drop accuracy, and driven path accuracy. The UGV landed safely and intact in 33 out of 35 drop tests, and the bottle remained intact 100% of the time. The team conducted 14 flight tests dropping the UGV from Orion. The payload landed a mean distance of 17 feet from the target with a standard deviation of 5 feet. The UGV drove within a 10-foot radius of the specified GPS location 100% of the time. The team proceeded to employ full mission tests to assess the performance of the integrated Orion system at achieving each of the mission objectives. Waypoint navigation and autonomous flight were achieved reliably. Since mock payloads were used in developmental tests, there were few aerodynamic changes to the integrated system, and thus no corrective action was required to improve performance. Object detection, classification, and localization was performed in all full mission tests. Over 200 different combinations of alphanumerics, shapes, and colors were tested against on both grass and pavement. After tuning the camera, Seaware had no issues with the software pipeline to download, tag, and submit objects. The airdrop system was tested repeatedly on both grass and pavement during full mission testing. After testing, the team conducted necessary corrective action such as re-evaluation of load paths and changing material makeup of the parts taking high stress from drops. The team also further compartmentalized the parachute container within Orion to further reduce risk of interference with the aircraft's flight. As for the UGV's driving task, the team made minor adjustments to the layout of components within the UGV and adjusted its center of mass so the UGV could better roll on the ground. No other major corrective action was required. For the timeline task, the team scored an average of 67% of points, taking on average less than 7 minutes to set up, 23 minutes of mission time, less than 1 minute of post-processing time, and no timeouts. The team expects similar performance at competition. Seaware attempted to fly last year's competition waypoints transposed over our local airfield. On this task, the team scored an average of 95% of points, with all flights completed fully autonomously. Orion hit waypoints with an average accuracy of 13.3 feet and achieved all waypoints within 100 feet. The team expects similar performance in competition this year. Orion successfully avoided all stationary obstacles, scoring 100% of obstacle points on average. The team expects similar performance in competition this year. Seaware tested against five standard alphanumeric objects and one emergent target in each flight, with one of the five alphanumeric objects being an off-axis object. On average, the team achieved 76% of the ODCL task points. On average, the team achieved 89% of characteristic points, and the team was able to geolocate objects within 19 feet on average. The team achieved 94% of points for actionable and 18% of points for autonomy. Seaware expects similar performance in competition. For air delivery, Seaware dropped an average of 20.5 feet from the target drop location, scoring 50% of possible points. For the task of driving to location, the team scored 100% of possible points, always driving within 10 feet of the target location. The team expects similar performance at competition. After completing these 10 full mission tests, Seaware has demonstrated it can operate safely and professionally during the competition mission. The team hopes to achieve full marks for operational excellence. The average overall score from all mission tests was 86% and Seaware expects to score similarly at competition.